When you think about me and all everything I've said, everything I've done, what are your initial impressions of me? Do you think I'm some kind of 3000 IQ, 5 head demigod? If you don't think that, you're probably wrong. For a quick moment here before we talk about today's video, I gotta give it over to the boys real quick. He told you! He told you! He told you! So I told you! I told you! On Monday, I made my weekly market watch, and in that market watch, I happened to talk about Beelzemon from set 1. And I mentioned that if we had a, a good Impmon come out, Beelzemon would go up in price. And it was really that simple. Now, I did say it was supposed to be an Impmon with a good inheritable, but what we got was an Impmon that has an effect better than any inheritable, so that's better, and I'm fine with that. This Impmon has an on-play effect that reads, when you play it, discard a card, add a card from your trash to your hand, that's a seven great demon lord, or three musketeers. Now, can you think of any particular Digimon that could just evolve on Impmon that's a seven great demon lord? Can you think of any anything? Anything? Got anything? So what this Impmon allows you to do is, on a turn where you have three memory, because you have a tamer, let's say, you play the Impmon, if you have 10 or more cards in trash, that's really when it needs to happen. You discard a card, add the Beelzemon back, and then you can evolve the Beelzemon on the Impmon and kill something level 4 or lower, which is pretty busted. And then if it survives a turn, then the next turn, you can just evolve a Millenniumon on it. Or, we're getting some pretty interesting Omnimons soon that have very good when digivolving effects that evolve on purple, so that's kind of good. Now, here are the prices of Beelzemon when I did the Market Watch on Monday. And here are the prices of Beelzemon as of the recording of this video. You notice something getting a little bigger? I'm not talking about my penis, I'm talking about something else. It's almost as if my voice has the power to influence card design. I have the ability that I'm able to transmit these waves throughout the universe, and then Bandai sees them, and Bandai's like, huh, guess we better make this happen, because it was such a freaking coincidence. Absolutely insane. It's like everyone is aware of all the hard work and determination, diligence, sacrifice I've put into this YouTube channel, and they just want to give me a nice big pat on the back, you know? Like, here, let's throw you a bone, because you know what you're talking about. Good job. And yeah, sure. It's almost like I'm the chosen one. I could even be a prophet. That would be pretty wild. Now, while this video is really fun to make, and really it's just nothing but a spectacular coincidence, this does go to show you how market trends really work. Like, take Yu-Gi-Oh, for example. Recently, we got announced some Karibo cards were coming out. And what did that do? It made all the older Harry Ball cards go up in price. Because, oh, Karibo support, gotta have your Karibos now. Nostalgia hype, meta hype, even though Karibos aren't, they're not that good. They're, they're really not that good. Like, that new support's trash. I don't care what anyone says. But that's just how card games work, and how stocks work, and other investables work. If there is some hype affecting something, that something will inflate. Or if there's negative hype, that, you know, if there's hype, that causes that to get a downgrade or something. Or if there's just no hype, nothing's happening, then that item will go down in price. But announcing an Impmon that can fetch a Beelzemon from your discard pile that you can just evolve on right away, potentially, is kind of insane. And that is hype in the right direction. Now, this is just speculatory hype. We don't know when set six comes out if they're gonna give us other cards we can add back that are way better than Beelzemon. We have no idea. Only time will tell, right? But people are really excited over the notion that you can warp Digivolve into Beelzemon and you have a card that just searches it as long as you mill a singular copy at some point. Purple is good at sticking all their stuff in the trash. Their deck is all trash. It's a trash deck. Now let me know what you guys think in the comment section below here. Do you think that this support is enough to push Purple to high ranking tier 1 play by the time that this set actually comes out? Do you think it's just going to be a wave and pass? Do you think we're headed some, for some major great direction? You know, I'm dreaming now about taking an Impmon, turning it into Beelzemon, turning it into an Omnimon, and doing some ridiculous things because of that. But you never know what's on the horizon, right? You just you just don't know. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Don't forget to walk my, watch my market watches. That's where all this stuff happens. If there's something to speculate, something to say, it'll happen. 
and if I think something's gonna go up in price, it's probably gonna go up. It's kind of conceited, but really, it's just how market trends work. I've been doing this for years. That's all, guys. We'll see you later. Take care.